Hi, welcome to the practice sessions on, to, on statistics. So in this video lecture, we are going to work with the salary payrolls in Google Sheets. And in particular, we are going to learn how to calculate the total income depending on the number of the hours and the pay rate. We're also going to calculate the income tax depending on the total income per month. So especially if the total income is less than $450, it is going to be rated, the income tax is going to be rated per 25%. If this is more, it is going to be rated 30%. So we're going to learn how to make a certain formula so that it is going to be calculated automatically. And also we're going to learn about how to find the minimum values, the maximum values out of the numbers and the columns. And, um, and and calculate the average salaries. So before we proceed to to the sheets, to the, uh, to the Google Sheets directly, so let's consider all of these things um, theoretically a little bit. So here is the payroll record for the January for all of these employees. So you can see here the employees. And for each of the employee, we've got the columns. So the columns was the total number of the hours worked per this month, so the overtime hours, and the pay rate per hour. So the first of all, we are going to calculate the hours to the pay rate. So essentially, what I'm going to do is, so here especially, what I'm going to do is, in order to calculate the subtotal, I'm going to multiply the hours times to the pay rate. So here, the first employee has worked 36 hours, and every hour it is going to be paid for $12. So subtotal is going to be the multiplication of the 36 to the 12. So at the same time, you can see here that another color, so another column, which is called like overtime hours. So that if the employee works overtime, so the pay rate is going to be multiplied to the 50 to the one and a half. So essentially, so that for every overtime hour, it is going to be paid 50% more. So especially here for the second employee, so if he is going to work for two hours, then instead of paying him like a $30, like a two times $30, we're going to pay 50% more or 1.5. So it is going to be $45. So this is how it is going to be calculated. So Average hours or the ordinary standard hours is going to be multiplied as a pay rate, and over time hours are going to be multiplied the pay rate times to the 1.5. So now, if we go um, to the bottom of the table, we can see here that the income tax is going to be calculated depending on the subtotal. So that if subtotal is less than 450%, it is going to be 25% tax rate and if the uh, subtotal is more or equal to the 450 percent we are going to calculate the income tax at the rate of 30 percent so it is going to be implemented here in this column which is called like income tax and here we are going to write down the formula or create a formula so we are going to do this using the command called if and if the subtotal is less than 450 then the income tax is going to be calculated by just multiplying the subtotal to the 25%. Else, the income tax is going to be calculated by just multiplying the subtotal to the 30%. So here is uh, what we are going to do now with the Google Sheets. So let's go to the Google Sheets. Okay, so here's our Google Sheet. So first of all, we need to create a formula here in the subtotal. So, you, you, you know, in Google Sheets, every cell has its coordinates. So especially here, for example, this cell was a 36 value, has its coordinate, which is called like a B3, because it is located in the column B and in the row 3. So that is why it's called like a B3. So here in subtotal, in order to create the formula, you have to just press the equality sign. So you just press the equality sign and you're going to multiply the B3 times to the D3 and press OK. So the Google Sheets is going to automatically suggest you to fill the other columns, but I'm going to reject this because we need to include all time as well here. So here on the second, for the second employee, I need to again write create a formula. And if you remember, 
what we have to do is we need to so start our formula by just equality sign. We need to multiply the hours, standard hours, to simply to the rate, right? Plus the overtime hours, which are here on the on the cell C4, not the B4, times to the pay rate, which is D4, times to the one and a half. So, so if an employee work overtime, his rate is going to be doubled. Uh, his rate is going to be multiplied to the 1.5. He's going to get 50% more for every overtime work. I'm just going to press OK, and we can see here the value. So obviously, if you have lots of values, you're not going to be writing down this formula for all of the employees. So what you would do is you would just choose the cell on the bottom right corner and just drag this down until the end. So you see, so you can just put this until the down and all, all of these formulas are going to be applied for all of the cells. So what I want to show you is that, so if you remember, we've calculated this for the second employee, which is located on the row number four. But as we are going to go down through the cells in that particular column, which is calculating the subtotals, you can see here that B is changing to the B5, B6, B7, B8, B9, and so on. So the Google Sheets automatically changes the formula. So as you're going to go down, so the formula is going to be also changed. So here is how we're going to calculate the subtotal. So now what we are going to do is we're going to calculate the income tax. And if you remember, what we have to do here is that, so we need to use the command F, right? So you again, write down the equality sign, okay? So here in the, in the equality sign, you're going to indicate F. Then inside the commas, you need to explain the logical expression. So what you would like to check, whether like if some number is less than some uh, 450 or more than 450. So what we need to check is whether this subtotal, which is located in the cell E3, is less than $450 or not. Then in, inside this formula here was the if, after the commas, you need to explain what you are going to do if this is true and false. Okay, so we need to explain the actions. So if this logical expression, if this E3, especially like essentially the subtotal for this employee is for less than 450, what kind of action we have to do? Or what kind of action we have to do if this is false, if this is not true? So I'm going to explain you this in this way. So we need to, if this is true, we have to multiply the subtotal to this percentage, which is indicated here. Okay, so I'm just going to choose this. So usually, since we are creating the formula, so this should be done in the uniform way. So I don't want to put there 25%, because if later on the tax rate is changed from 25 to the 24, I would just write here 24 and all of these taxes are going to be calculated automatically. So the after the comma, we need to explain that otherwise, if the E3 here is less than $450, then multiply the E3 to the 25%. If, if not, if this is more, then we are going to multiply the subtotal to the 30%, okay? So here is like for every if command, we're going to have three components. The first one is the logical expression itself. The second one is the action if the logical expression is true. And the third one is the action if the logical expression is false. Then you're going to just close the brackets and press OK. So it is going to calculate here $108. So if you would like to apply this formula for all the others, you're going to just drag and drop here until the end. Oops, the, the problem, the, there is essentially the problem, right? So here, the, it, it calculates always a zero, which is, which is something wrong, okay? So I'm just going to go through the formulas here. So you see, so I, I'm just going to zoom in here. So you see, so as I'm going to go down through that column which calculates the income tax so this e3 is the subtotal for the employee which is in the row three 
So if I go down, it is going to be changed to the E4. It is going to be the subtotal of the employee in the row 4 and the row 5 and so on. You see, so it is changing. But at the same time, if you remember, your tax rate, 25% and 30%, are fixed in one cell, which are located in the C28 and C29, right? So, well, here in this formula, as I'm going down, the cells where the tax rates are located are also changing. And if I go here, and the C30, for example, or in C31, everything is empty. So this is the reason why I'm just getting zeros here. So, well, in order to change this in this formula, what we have to do is we need to fix these two cells. So we need to essentially fix C28 and C29. So that as we are going to go down through this column, the C28 and C29 are going to be always the same cells. So, the, so it can be fixed easily, say, by just putting the dollar sign around the column, column letter, okay? So I'm just going to put the dollar sign around the C28 and C29 and press OK. And now we just need to apply this formula again one more time. Just let's choose this and drag this down. And now it is going to calculate the cells. It is going to calculate... Uh, the income tax, so by just fixing. So you can see here, as we are going down, e, uh, E's are changing from E4 to the E5 to the E6, so you can see here, E9, E10, and so on, but the C's are the same, so it is like essentially C28 and C29. Well, what do we need to do now is, we need to subtract the income tax from the subtotal in order to calculate the pay after the taxes. So we're going to just write down the equality sign, subtotal minus the income tax, okay, then press OK. So usually Google Sheets sometimes suggests you to fill all the other cells in this column. So we're just going to say yes, so just calculate this. So here is all of these numbers is calculated for every employee. So this is the amount that each employee is going to get at the end, right? Depending on the number of the hours worked, the number of the overtime hour works, number of the, uh, so the amount of the pay rate, and also the amount of the tax rates. So what we can do is we can also calculate here some, some like some statistics. So we can calculate the total number of the hours worked for all of these employees. So it is going to be, so the equality sign, then you just need to press the sum command and just indicate the cells which you would like to sum. Then close the brackets, plus the sum, and indicate all of the cells which you would like to sum. To do this for all the others, we're going to reject this. So the average pay rate, so in order to calculate the average of some column, so you just need to indicate average, then here is the average pay rates. So all of the pay rates, just indicate the pay rates and it's going to calculate the average of them. But then the highest pay after the taxes, so it is like you need to figure out which one is the highest one, right? So highest value. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write down the maximum and then choose all of the cells. It is going to just tell me what is the maximum number between this. It is going to be $546. And in order to find the lowest one, I'm just going to use another command, which is called like a min. And the min, I'm just going to again choose all of the cells. It's going to show me the min. And in order to calculate the average, I'm just going to type the average sign, average command, sorry, and I choose the cells and press OK. So this is how we can calculate some statistical values like the highest value, highest amount of the um, pay after the taxes, or the lowest one, or the average pay rate. Average, uh, uh, average pay after the taxes, and so on. So this is how we can do some basic operations with the Google Sheets, and I hope that this was helpful for you.